Good morning, what's guys? I'm Dizzy. Welcome back to Call of the Wild and welcome to Verhonga Savanna. In this video, I will show you how to hunt lions and get your own diamond lion on single player Call of the Wild, just like I did. First, we'll take a look at the weapons and other gear you might need on your hunt. After that, we will take a look at the strategy and the steps I took to make my drinking zone map, which I will share with you somewhere in the middle of this video. Lions are class 9 animals, so you will have to bring your biggest guns to the table if you want to get them down efficiently. Popular class 9 weapons are the 300, the 338, the 454 handgun and the 470. We'll start with the 470 so that we can dismiss it immediately. It is the most powerful gun in the game, but the limited range and lack of scope makes it a difficult gun to handle and useless over longer distances. The same can be said for the 454 handgun. That one has a very useful scope, but I would only recommend it for short range and self defense on lines because your maximum zeroing range is 75 meters and it isn't that useful for longer ranges. The best choices for long range lion hunting, which is the safest, are the 338 and the 300. The 338 is more powerful but has downsides as well. It is less accurate, especially over longer distances and only has a single shot before you have to reload. The 300 to me is the ultimate choice. It is accurate even at distances beyond 300 meters and powerful enough to take down a line with one shot. It also has a magazine of 4 bullets so you can easily take a couple of shots on a couple of lines. You can get the 300 if you own the Yukon Valley DLC, otherwise the 338 is the second best choice. For callers you can use both of the Predator callers. I took only the Predator Jack Rabbit caller because you can call in jackals and lions with those. The Predator Farm caller only lures in lions, so if you want to pack light the lions respond perfectly well to the Jack Rabbit caller. You don't have to take both. The main strategy for hunting lions is visiting their drinking zones at their drinking time, which is from 1200 to 1530. Not all zones are active at this exact time slot, so if you want to make sure all of your zones are active during your hunt, you will have to set the time at 1230 and stop hunting at 1500. That way you will catch all of your zones active. And this time frame isn't too bad because from 1230 to 1500 is between 35 and 40 minutes of a real time hunting. After that you reset the time, get a snack from the kitchen and you're good to go again. My drinking zone map will help you find the lion drinking zones quickly. I always have it up on my second screen when I'm hunting for lions. The way I use it I check the map for lakes I want to visit and I put a waypoint on my map at the exact location I want to check. Remember that animals can stray between 100 and 150 meters from the icon on the map, so they're not always in the same place, but they are often enough. And it's up to you to learn how to hunt the lakes the best way and kill the lions efficiently. You will see that when you know where the zones are, it's not that hard to find a way to get to them silently. My goal during the hunting was to murder as many lions as possible and destroy their need zones in the process. This removes the zone from the map and gives you a chance to generate a new zone at that same location later. The key is to destroy the zones at every location you see on this map before you return and generate a new zone. This will give you a steady supply of new need zones and new lines if you do it right and visit all of the locations. This is a strategy I've been using since not too long ago and it's proven effective. Sometimes I had a hard time destroying the actual zone because uh, lions often come alone or in pairs. So try to find some jackals, springbok or whatever animal you can find to finish off the zone if you want to do exactly the same as I did. Emptying the zone by shooting all the lions using it is also a good way to remove the zone from your map. If you've killed all lions using a zone the icon will be removed from your map after a game restart. When I made this map I started exploring every lake and finding lines everywhere. I marked all of those locations on the map and I noticed that after a while I ran out of high level animals, especially level 8 mythical lions. I knew that this meant I was not aware of all the drinking zones, I had to go explore. So I found two more lakes that were visited by lions, finding my high level animals there. So I added those to the drinking zone map again and I continued cycling all of these locations 
until I noticed again I was running out of high level animals. So I knew there must be zones I'm missing on my drinking zone map. I didn't know where to find it so I put up the map on my discord server to get some help. And I got it. I got a suggestion from servers, he told me to go watch a video by Zaggy uh, showing a hidden drinking zone in the fever tree forest in the south. I went to check it out and I found a mythical lion there. I killed it and started cycling all the other locations again. Not long after that I found my diamond lion. So it took a little longer this time to find my diamond lion. And the reason for this is that I wasn't exploring the map thoroughly enough. This is the absolute key mechanic in single player Call of the Wild. You have to visit every single location for a specific animal and kill every animal that's there. If you forget one location your high level respawns will end up there and the other zones will just dry up. So if you want to be successful in single player finding a lot of diamonds keep that in mind. I hope this video will help you in your quest to find your own diamond lion. If you found it useful please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. For now thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.